first semester here at Berkeley is very much, think of it in your minds, equate that to basic training. I love my work because I have the pleasure of being able to work with some really phenomenal students and being able to help them make their way through higher education. It's what gets me here in the, in the mornings every day. Ron Williams teaches a brand new course at UC Berkeley called Veterans in Higher Education. It's geared to help soldiers become successful students. There's so much more uh, that goes along with having served in the armed forces than just specific combat. Our opportunity then is to be able to make those skills and that, that relevant uh, life and professional experience, make it relevant in an academic context here so that they can really excel. The course is part of a larger UC Berkeley effort to help veterans overcome a variety of difficulties, from complications in financing their coursework to adjusting emotionally and socially, even to changing the way they study. You, you don't go with the flow, and, and, your, and your main strength should not be not being noticed. Stuart Martin joined the Marines just after the terrorist attacks on New York and Washington. I've actually invested many, many hours into thinking about how I got into the military. Um, especially when I was in the military, I thought about this all the time. <laughs> Why am I here? I didn't feel ready for college, but I felt ready to um, somehow have some sort of a rite of passage. There was definitely a feeling of service and a feeling of um, this, this, might, this would be a good thing. This will um, give me interesting experiences and skills for the rest of my life. After learning Farsi in the Marines to become a language translator, he decided to study rhetoric and Iranian literature in college. But after getting accepted to Berkeley, one of his biggest challenges was how to pay for it. Well, at first I lived on my visa card. And then I took out a bunch of student loans and converted those from the Visa card to the student loans. Um, I beg for my parents occasionally. Sometimes they'll take me to Costco and I'll get <laughs> a bunch of food. Contrary to what many assume, the government benefits provided to veterans do not nearly cover the expenses of a university education. The idea of helping soldiers assimilate back into civilian life began to take root after World War I and the Great Depression left many vets unable to support themselves. By 1944, with millions of World War II veterans returning home, Congress passed a package of educational, employment, and housing benefits known as the GI Bill of Rights. In the White House at Washington, President Roosevelt approves legislation to provide for America's war veterans in the peace to come. But as time passed, the GI Bill hasn't kept up with the price of a higher education. It's currently only enough to pay for a two-year community college. With another large group of vets returning home, Congress recently passed a new bill to take effect in August of 2009. The new GI Bill promises to pay veterans education at even the top public university in the state. The veterans will also receive money for their living expenses and an extra $1,000 for their textbooks. All this will be worth up to $80,000, allowing for many veterans to see a University of California education as finally within their reach. Until then, student vets must plan their budgets very carefully to make ends meet. With this in mind, the university provides them with personal attention to help them make the most of the tangle of resources and requirements set out by the government and the school system. I was wondering what changes are going to be made, how that's going to affect my, uh, my education benefits. You have eligibility for some federal aid, and so we've included those grant monies into your offer letter as well. But we also want to make sure that we can maximize the other awards. So that Katrina Moreno joined the Air Force because she didn't feel prepared yet for college. She spent most of her service in England as a radio operator, handling classified assignments. I went to university right away after high school, and I did not do well at all. I was definitely one of those individuals who needed a bit more life experience. I have some financially questions for you. Financially, it is really hard to figure out, I think. I mean, for me, it's really confusing. UC Berkeley's veteran services are part of a statewide initiative called Troops to College, which requires community colleges to offer special programs for student vets. Although the project was only a recommendation for four-year universities, UC Berkeley took action in a wide range of areas to provide services as well as to recruit veterans. Last year there were a total of 151 vets enrolled, and this year there are 77 new vets on campus. The numbers are only expected to increase. This core mission of public service is something that our veterans embody from the time that they even come to our university. 
let alone while they're here, they get involved with the same. And as they graduate, they continue to be involved in their communities and advocate in so many different ways. Philippe Louis Jean is a former Marine who was part of the U.S. invasion of Baghdad, Iraq. I, I joined the Marines because of financial difficulties. My parents couldn't afford to send me to college. Something that would afford me the opportunity to go to school later on was the Marine Corps. We, we now have a simple activity that we'd like you to do. After five years in the Marines, Philippe attended community college and then got accepted to Berkeley's highly ranked Haas School of Business with a double major in theater and performance. I'm so excited to be here. I mean, I, I still show up on campus every morning with a big smile on my face because I, I really can't believe I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm at Berkeley. Are the classes as hard as I thought they'd be? Um, no, not at all. They're harder. <laughs> They're actually harder. I mean, they did catch me by surprise. How many manufacturers are playing in that category? The, the challenge is great, though. I mean, they, I'm learning things that I want to learn. I, the, the curriculum is pushing us towards something we want to do. Before I came to Cal, I was concerned that I might not be welcomed as a vet. But man, people are actually intrigued when they hear that, oh, you're a Marine. And, uh, so. The wealth of uh, resources that we have here for, tra for, for transfer students is, is, is great. They do send us emails constantly. Um, they do offer courses for us that we could take um, to, to help us with the transitioning here. They let us know what to expect and you know what, what, what it's going to be like to be here as a veteran. Is there anything that I need to do? Well, well, I'll work with you on that. I'll make sure that... We need to give veterans an active voice in society and policies. This is fundamentally their society that they fought for. You know, th these people should be... Um, integrated into our policy making um, positions. Can't do that without a university education. UC Berkeley has rolled out the red carpet. Uh, it's so nice to feel welcomed, to feel wanted.